In the byline of his Instagram account, Jamba Sands lists that he's from Tasmania, Australia, he's into filmmaking, tricking, free running, martial arts, and the circus. So how does someone like him make it over a fence? Ah, oh, <laughs> that was smooth. Boom. Oh. oh. Shebang. Now you're just showing off. Bam. Oh, just a casual parkour. Boom. <laughs> can you imagine if we tried any of these? Yes, I can. <laughs> it would not be good. <laughs> Well, I mean, as perfect as he makes it look, I love that he gives us the behind the scenes because practice makes perfect. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that would look like it hurt. <laughs> oh. Okay, my neck, my but back, he's my still head. Going. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna have bruises galore all over him. So let this serve as a lesson in life. <laughs> Get back up and do it again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And record it all. Giamba Sands didn't exactly intend to get into commercials. I guess you could say he fell into it. This is actually a real commercial from Norway. And you'll like this, Nick, because it's about recycling. This bit right here says Thomas doubted glass is getting recirculated. So we showed him what's actually going on. And he gets to see where that glass goes to these big recycling centers. He's thrown into this and now he's on a conveyor belt where you can see things are getting sorted. There's even machinery that looks like it's separating the metal from the glass. Oh man, he had to get down and dirty for this gig. He's going to be a little concerned about this because the heat's certainly building and it's just he's going into the furnace. It says Thomas doesn't doubt it anymore. <laughs> because as they're saying, glass can be changed. And so can the people who doubt recirculation. Doubting Thomas over here. Now let's move over to Australia. We feature Jimba Sands on the show often, and people are always wondering how he prepares his body. Well, here you go. Boom. <laughs> oh, you beat it up. Boom. <laughs> Backflip, face dive. Backflip. <laughs> Nose dive. I guess if your body experiences that enough, it won't want to do it again. So you get it right. Is that the thinking? <laughs> he says that a lot of you've been asking if he even feels pain. After you see his videos, you do wonder that. He says this is the one exercise I do. It's great for killing your pain receptors. And if you do it long enough, you eventually stop feeling anything at all. He's just trolling a bunch of people who are now going to go to the beach and try this. Well, look, let me just tell you, if you do this, don't at us, don't at him, because you're going to need dental work. heard you say a number of times, yeah, well, women do it, and we do it in heels better. Well, Jimba Sands is here to take that back. Jimba's just silly. Let me tell you something about Jimba. Because she's about <laughs> no, to play let's games focus with on the girl. No. I just did a butt flip. We ain't even gonna have this conversation like suddenly, men do it better. Hey. He is super, shut up. He is super human. Let's talk about that. Oh, yeah, he's so <laughs> incredible. We'll watch him walk out of this. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what I'm talking about. But that's okay. He did the backflip, and that's awesome. A backflip win and a catwalk fail. You know, they say it's magic that helps Santa get down the chimney, but I think he's aided by a little bit of parkour. This video from Jimba Sands shows Santa with just a little too much eggnog, but he's going to parkour that off. This guy's made a career on the internet for falling over with style. He's the Jim Carrey of parkour. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And he does it repeatedly in this Santa suit because look at that. <laughs> Only he could go down a hill like that. Every one of these moves looks like an injury. Shh, don't tell the kids. Santa is putting some gifts under the tree. But then, as he's putting the gifts away, uh-oh, it's the Dark Knight. Wow, well here's a mashup I hadn't considered. I don't think Batman knows who Santa Claus is because Batman is always on the lookout for the nefarious. So he sees this guy who doesn't live in the house. Santa and Batman duke it out. The Santa Claus video we did not know we needed. He's a pretty bouncy dude. We know him as Jimba Sands. And in this case, he's in the Perrin Sand Dunes of Tasmania, Australia. How many 
can he do? Boing, 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 boing. Oh, wow, okay. Aren't Whoa. you dizzy at this point? Oh, very, probably pretty tired. Using a little bit of the gravity of that downhill to help him out, his legs oh. start to give. 21? That's about what I counted too. Yeah, it looks like he did 21 back handsprings in his short description. He says, I feel sick. <laughs> well, that's amazing. I'm only a little disappointed he didn't keep going until he got in the water. That's an excellent way to simulate five or six hours out on a Saturday night. Because at the end of that, you're going to feel pretty wobbly. <laughs> I was going to say he went down, but he's not out. This dude is legit. Now, all of those back handsprings, you know, definitely creates um, strength. And out of all the stunts that we've seen Jim do, we know he must have a pretty solid core. This is his idea of a plank. Oh, 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 dude. <laughs> he does fall with style. He's right. He's weirdo. He know. smacks his head really hard. Oh, dude, you got to be careful. Oh, he's fine. Maybe he's figuring out a way to clean out the internet of too many influences by making this a challenge. You oh. know, everyone's going to go out and try it, and suddenly we're going to have half as many people. <laughs> well, he does call this the falling plank challenge. Hashtag, don't try this at home. Right. Do not try this at home. And if you do wear a helmet... This dude is also great at what he does. Jimba Sands, we feature him often. He's hopping over fences and landing some cool things. This time, he's at the bowling alley. <laughs> Seriously, get the strike. Uh, come on. <laughs> he, he is at one with that bowling ball. <laughs> yes, yes he is. Jimba Sands puts his own spin on parkouring, free running, trampoline tricks. We featured him on the show before. This time he becomes Mini Man. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> and while it's not as easy when he does it this way, <laughs> it's just as entertaining. Why am I laughing so hard? He needs a little bit of help at all. Oh, okay, there you go. You got it. Okay, you ain't got it. Oh my goodness, that is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he can make it over the stump, through the top, well, kind of through the tires. Oh my god, I love this guy. I just fell in love with Jimba. Totally selling this stupid <laughs> trick, right? Little hula hoop action. Looks like he's nailed that. Where's the rest of his body? Is he like hunched over? Oh well, I'm glad you asked. He shows us exactly where his body is. I feel like I know what he's doing, but maybe I, I don't. Tell. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Like so, so he's bent over. Yeah. Yeah. Which is incredible that he's still able to do this stuff while he's hunched over. That is not easy. My back hurts just watching this. Oh my gosh. I wonder if he cracked himself up when he went back and watched this stuff. <laughs> well, he's laughing during a lot of this. You, you see as he pops out of the jacket, <laughs> he sells it, and we love it. So why Aww. not? I think it's my favorite so far. <laughs> Have you guys ever sold or gotten rid of a, a car that you had for a while? Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to get over that car. You, you develop an attachment to it, right? Jima Sands here has decided to get over his old car in style. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, that's one way to do it. I just traded mine in. There's another way to do it right after. Is this park car? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you could call it that. Uh, <laughs> Slide right into it. He's got all kinds of style and uh, scores some <laughs> serious points. I love just the walk off, too, to just make it look extra cool. He's bouncing. Mm. Yeah, but he also has the right style and body of car for this. Like, he's got a <laughs> <It's> extra. <right>. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little extra lift on the back to pull some of these slides right, off. Because it's a Again, station. you're talking about the car, right? <laughs> yes, yes, the car. Right, the station wagon style does give him more of a dance floor to perform on. Does the new buyer get to see this video first? Where are all these dents coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's best to not post this until after the car is sold. Yeah, who knows? He's a free runner and trickster. And uh, this was just a fun video that he put together to, uh, like I said, get over his car. I sold the car once. I was kind of pumped to see it go. It's our old pal, a friend of the show, Jimba Sands. He's going to propose in only a way that he would. So he's got his lady standing on the other side of the fence with her back to the camera, and he's off. Boom. Oh, Hits the fence. no. <laughs> Takes a tumble, but wait a minute, all is not lost. Yeah, he just fell <laughs> in love. 
Now he does say that this video is not the actual video of when he proposed to this lady. He's thinking he might, just might post it on another day. But on this particular day, it was supposed to be a reenactment. Uh, so congratulations. You know when you're in the airport, and you're in the departure area, and you're trying to find yourself a seat, and there's just none, none that are suitable. It's a right pain in the neck. Turns out, there's a solution. There you go. Problem solved. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing in the airport. Um, can I point out, <laughs> Nick, both of them eating sandwiches. Yeah, the sam sandwiches are burritos. That might even be better. Uh, I think those are big old honking burritos. Yeah, I think so too. This is Jim Bassans. We've had him on the show before. He now goes by the fence guy because of the way that he creatively fell over a fence while doing parkour casually. All right, I, I'll give it to him. You'll give it to him? Thanks <laughs> for your generosity. Right. I mean, it's not like he's doing something amazing or anything. No, well, he took it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's got really strong neck muscles <laughs> yeah. to be able to carry someone's weight. I suppose it work in economy as well because that's just going to make you a little bit shorter. It's going to get, going to make it all a bit more comfortable. Now, you know when you walk, right, and it's cold and you need to get over a tree, but you don't want to take your hands out of your pockets because it's so cold? It turns out there's a solution. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> sir, no sir. Yes, <laughs> yes ma'am. You see, he just looks at the camera, whoop, zips it all the way around, and this is one of those eternally looping gifts that you can just stare at for about an hour and just feel good about yourself. Yeah, because anytime we're going over a branch, it's because we tripped over it. Yeah, so if anyone at home is thinking of trying this, be sure to get it on camera and send us the fail.